Should you become an accountant in 2021? In this video, we're gonna talk about some of the pros and cons. We're gonna go over compensation, the jobs market, and all the advantages, but also disadvantages of choosing accounting as an occupation. But first, what is an accountant and what do they do? Accountants examine, analyze, and interpret accounting records to prepare financial statements. They can also provide financial advice to many different organizations. Many accountants also focus on audit where they're evaluating financial statements prepared by others. This has to be one of the most flexible occupations out there. And this gets into one of the advantages of becoming an accountant. They can work in so many different types of organizations and in so many different kinds of roles. They can become auditors. They can focus in on taxation, financial accounting, consulting, information systems, financial planning, and government isn't even on this graphic. In corporate roles, accountants actually have to work with many different team members, including marketing, sales, top executives, and other key stakeholders. Accountants are often looking into the financial activities of a business or person and determining whether there is an imbalance. To become an accountant, you typically need a bachelor's degree. And after attaining a bachelor's degree, Along your career path, you're probably gonna have to do a lot of exams and certifications, depending on which niche you go into. Businesses often have to file reports with the Securities and Exchange Commission, also known as the SEC. And for an accountant to be able to do this, they actually have to be certified. They have to go through and become a certified public accountant. And this is very challenging. Next, let's get into the compensation of accountants. And unfortunately, the government kind of lumps all accountants together into one category. They don't break them out. So first, I'm going to show you the government numbers, and then we're going to go over the Robert Half numbers. And Robert Half actually tries to go into the different, different job titles and different niches of different types of accountants. So in 2020, the average base salary for an accountant or auditor was recorded at $81,660. This was more than cost estimators and this was more than insurance underwriters, but it was less than actuaries, budget analysts, economists, and personal financial advisors. Now, a lot of accountants will eventually become financial managers where the average base salary is $151,510 in 2020. And that's the big thing you have to keep in mind with accounting. There are career paths where accountants kind of enter into different types of occupations. And this includes financial managers and top executives. Accountants have seen okay wage growth over the years according to the government. In the year 2000, the average base salary for an accountant nationwide was $48,090. This rose to $81,660 in 2020. I also put on financial managers in this chart as well because many accountants have the opportunity to become financial managers. With fi financial managers, the average base salary was around $73,000 per year in the year 2000. And since then, it has more than doubled to around $152,000 per year. And this is just assuming 40-hour work week. So although at the financial manager level, a lot of those guys are salary and they definitely have to put in more than 40 hours a week. So over time, you can actually really see the rift the difference in pay between accountants and their managers. And the wage growth for financial managers is growing a lot faster than accountants and auditors at the lower level. If this trend were to continue by 2025, the average base salary for a financial manager would be around 170,000 per year, while accountants would be around 90. And by 2030, the average base salary for a financial manager might be inching towards about $200,000 per year. And with accountants, geography matters when it comes to pay. In fact, some of the highest cost of living places tend to pay accountants a lot more than the lower cost of living places. It was found that Washington DC had the highest average base salary for accountants at $110,140. This is just accountants, not financial managers. This is followed by New York, New Jersey, and Massachusetts. So. Some of the higher cost of living cities in the Northeast tend to pay accountants more than other places in the United States. The other thing I recommend doing is going to Robert Half and checking out their 2022 salary guide. There is an entire section on the finance and accounting industry. And if you look, there is all the niche niches for accounting, corporate accounting, compliance, and they give you 25th, 25th percentile, 50th and 75th for so many different job titles. I mean, there is everything on here fund operations, hedge fund accounting, financial services tax, and they have a lot of the different career paths as well. So I definitely recommend going to and checking out Robert Half 
talent solutions. And kind of like I've been alluding to, one of the big advantages of becoming an accountant is you have a career path you can follow. I've seen so many accountants really rise in a pretty short amount of time. They might start off making not as much money, but over time they can make more and more money as they climb the ranks into becoming a financial manager, a controller, a director. There's so many different, or even a partner of an accounting firm. In fact, here's a little graphic from private accounting versus public accounting career path. And this kind of illustrates two different career paths for accounting and private accounting. You can go from junior accountant to senior accountant to corporate controller to director. With private accounting, you can go from junior accountant to senior accountant to corporate controller to VP finance and chief financial officer, potentially in around 25 years. And with public accounting, you can go from junior, senior manager to partner and also around 25 years. This is really great for a certain type of person that really likes having a career path, a set career path, knowing that in five years, they'll eventually hit that next rung. Next, we'll also get into another potential advantage for accountants, and that is the entrepreneurship rate. Accountants have the ability to take their experience and start their own business. According to the government, about 5% of accountants and auditors were self-employed in 2020. So it's much more than actuaries, cost estimators, and this was more than financial managers, which is kind of a similar occupation. I'm not sure what that's about, but there are certain occupations that have a higher entrepreneurship rate. In fact, one out of every five personal financial advisors is self-employed. So this is a much higher entrepreneurship rate than accountants. But I definitely personally know people that have started businesses on the side as an accountant, and they are doing pretty well. Next, let's get into the labor market. How competitive is it to become an accountant? Is there a shortage? Is there an abundance? What is going on right now? According to the government in 2020, there was about 1.3 million accountants and auditors in the workforce. And this is much more than the number of employed actuaries, budget analysts, personal financial advisors, insurance underwriters, statisticians. There is so many employed accountants in the workforce. And this is great news. This is a huge advantage for accountants. Any occupation that has over a million people in the workforce, this typically means you can live in any city, state, metro area all across the United States. You don't have to leave your home. Like if you were to become an actuary, there's very specific places you would have to live to work and be employed as an actuary, mainly the New York City metro and the Chicago metro. But accountants don't have this issue. There also has been significant gains in employment for accountants over time. In the year 2000, there was 863,320 employed accountants. This rose to about around 1.3 million in 2020. So a gain of around 400,000 people in the workforce just over about two decades. This is very strong. Many occupations are growing at maybe 5,000 jobs over two decades or 10,000 jobs over two decades. 400,000 employed, that's a lot of uh, new accountants in the workforce. Financial managers, on the other hand, have not seen that kind of job growth. In the year 2000, there was about 623,000. By 2020, about 653,000. So really only a gain of around 30,000 employed over two decades. This is much less than the gains for accountants and auditors. This means that potentially it's getting more competitive to try and become a financial manager because there isn't as many of those jobs relative to the number of employed accountants and auditors. And this job growth for accountants is expected to continue because as the economy grows, as there's more and more business growth over time, even if there's growth in government or nonprofits, accountants are gonna be part of every single one of those teams. So as long as the global economy continues to grow, uh, there will be a need for more and more accountants. Not just that, the accountant workforce is a little bit older. So there's gonna be a lot of retirements over the next 10 years from baby boomers. So there's gonna be plenty of job opportunities for accountants growing into the future. Two potential headwinds for accountants would be blockchain technology and AI slash machine learning. Possibly more software development could lead to the automation of more accounting duties. But the way I see it, these uh, algorithms and software will just help accountants. They'll become more efficient, more productive, this won't necessarily replace a lot of accounting roles. And blockchain is honestly still really in its infancy. It has not been embraced by governments and private companies to the extent that many people thought it would. So that is enough of future speculation on my part. What is the real-time demand for accountants right now? To determine this, I like to look at Indeed, Glassdoor, and LinkedIn.com. I basically just do a search for accountants in the United States 
and I look at the number of job postings on these job boards, and then we can compare it to the number of employed. So on Glassdoor, I found 48,872 job opportunities for accountants. On Indeed, there was 117 and 50 job opportunities. And on LinkedIn, there were 73,984 job opportunities for accountants. So as you can see, there are plenty of job opportunities for accountants all over the United States, and there is plenty of demand right now. So another thing people love to do is to take a Myers-Briggs personality test and try and figure out their type and really try and see if a certain occupation is compatible with their personality. According to the Myers-Briggs company, uh, there are certain personality types that are attracted to certain occupations. There are two personality types that really dominate the accounting workforce. The most common Myers-Briggs type to become an accountant is the ISTJ. And same thing for financial manager. 21% of accountants and financial managers are the ISTJ, also known as the inspector. And the number two one would be the ESTJ. The only difference is the introversion, extroversion flip. 16% of accountants are ESTJ and about 19% of financial managers are the ESTJ personality type. So these two types are the most commonly found in the accounting industry. So if you don't particularly like this, this kind of personality type, this occupation might not be for you. So as you can see, there are definitely some pros and cons of choosing accounting as a potential career. People love the fact that there is a set career path and a lot of accounting niches. All you have to do is spend a certain amount of time in a particular job or role and promotions are almost automatic down the line if you fulfill your duties and obligations. Accountants have seen okay wage growth over time, but financial managers have seen so much more. They've been seeing almost double the wage growth of accountants. And there is a ton of job opportunities right now. If you enjoyed this video, definitely also check out my actuary video. This is another good business occupation with a lot of job growth and a lot of income potential. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.